Hey, everybody. Welcome to How I See It, starring Kevin Leveroni, brought to you by Leveroni Supplements, starring the man himself, IFBB Hall of Famer, the Maryland Muscle Machine, Kevin Leveroni. How are you, Kevin? Great, Ron. How are you doing in this time of crisis? I'm doing well now. I was a little concerned you were going to get stuck in Europe. Were you, weren't you just over in Europe again? Yes, I was, and I've been home now. Uh, I'm actually quarantined right now, so we all are. I have about uh, seven more days. No, I'm, I'm not allowed to even oh. be around anyone. Uh, I get randomly checked and, and everything. So, what, uh, yeah. what, what countries were you in? I was over. This this is a um, one of my manufacturing offices. Okay. You know. Were you in Italy at all? No, no. Oh, okay. Thank God I uh, didn't no. have to go through Italy. I'd quarantine you for yeah. ten years. But still, when I when I came back into the U.S., uh, it was just like I was walking into a doctor's office. You know, they checked my temperature. I had to, uh, you know, Ron. I I fly a lot around the world. Yeah. And this is the first time I've came back through and. I had to fill out medical forms, um, so they they wanted to know where I was, how long I was there, uh, you know everything. Yeah. And uh, and then I had directions of, you know, when you leave from here, you go directly to home and you quarantine yourself in a solitude place, away from all your family, away from everyone, hmm. not allowed outside. Um, and we will randomly check to make sure you are at home. Take a temperature twice a day and everything. So, so is your son even not allowed to be near you for another seven days? No, he's not. He's wow. he's not allowed. Fourteen oh, days, you know. Fourteen days. Wow. Yeah. Um, Kira, I, I assume his school is shut down, right? Yeah, it's shut down. He's doing online courses though. Yeah. I think every you know, every school, God. every school now. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, he's fortunate enough that uh, you know to have a computer. And some of these families out here, man, they're really, really. It's tough for them right now. It's tough for all of us. Yeah. Well, but we just have to unite, come together, and and do what we can to uh, keep our heads above the water and help others to do the same thing. Yeah. So you know, our our community, the the bodybuilding community, probably the things that are affecting us the most directly are shows being canceled and gyms being shut down. I assume Exile Fitness is not operating right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody has to follow the law of the land, and it's just to. Uh, just to get things under control. I mean, we have to do this and we can't be selfish worrying about uh, what we want to do for ourselves. We have to sacrifice for uh, for our neighbors, for our friends, for our, you know, just our loved ones, ones that we aren't even around, or for, for, for all of humanity, society, yeah. really globally, you know? Because yeah. if I was to, you know, God knows, I mean, I was on a flight. I mean, you know, I would have been in other countries, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, I just can't come here and start running wild and rampage and deciding, you know, to go where I want to go. Even though, like they say, this thing, you can carry it, not even know you having it because you won't have symptoms for sometimes weeks at a time. So, yeah. I mean, we all have to take uh, uh, every precaution possible. You know, like you were saying, you know, the shows have been canceled. Uh, bodybuilding, you know, of course, taken blows and suffered. But one thing about our industry, you know, we're uh, we're competitive. We're we're fighters, and we continue to move forward no matter what the circumstances are. You see a lot of us now home training and doing things like this online, uh, being positive. Um, because when you can find, you know, within within your property, you have to find things to do to, uh, you know, continue to to um, be productive as well as, uh, you know, giving, giving back to others. I see a lot of the bodybuilding community doing that, online training, you know. Yeah. And... Um, it's helping, man. It's helping. It's helping each and each, all of us, you know. And I think I think the whole world and humanity is learning something from it, you know, that, uh, you know, we don't need to constantly be on the go all the time. So I'm taking this time, and I think everybody else is taking this time to just take a huge look at ourselves, see what we can do to better ourselves, spend more time with family and friends, and, um, you know, and just slow the pace down a little bit. Yeah. You know, whether you... Whether you believe in God or higher power or you don't, I still think you can look at this as this is fate or God or somebody trying to teach us kind of a lesson in gratitude because we all go about our lives every day taking so many things for granted. You know, just the fact that you can go out to a restaurant, if you want to go to the gym, uh, you can hug anybody, shake anybody's hand you want. Everything that we've taken for granted, now that these things are temporarily removed and we can't yeah. do these things... 
I think we're all starting to realize, wow, whatever problems we had, however, however, whatever we were complaining about, we actually had it pretty good. We actually had a lot of great things every day that we weren't even paying attention to that now yeah. I think we're coming to a realization, especially when this is over. I think everyone's going to have a deeper sense of gratitude and appreciation for all the little things that we never even thought about before. Yeah, I agree with you, Ron. I mean, you know, before no one had time to pick the telephone up and call the family members. You know, you just wanted to text and text and text. Now people are actually FaceTiming. You know, more people are going live. More people are calling family members. Hey, how you doing? Just check it in to make sure you're okay. You know, I'm concerned about you. You know, this is, it's, it's just, uh, we're finding that, uh, you know, the simple things in life is, is what's most important. You know, all of the uh, necessary um, things we, we, we don't need, you know, and we've come back to spending time at home, um, you know, eating at home, you know, uh, spending time with family. I've, I've, I've talked to a lot of people on uh, online and everything, and they're playing with their kids. You know, fathers are, are being parents and, 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 you know, parents are being more of a parent now because you get to spend more time with their kids and and everything. So these are the positive things that's coming out of it. And um, uh, the world is definitely united, you know, together and and realizing that, you know what, without without our neighbors, without our friends, without our families, you know, we, we need each other to survive. And on the other hand, you know, we also need interaction, you know, as well as uh, being able to see people and talk to people. So I think very, very, uh, hopefully within the next month, month and a half, this thing will be past us. Um, if everyone keeps obeying, obeying by the rules, the law of the land, that's the only way we're going to get past this thing and, um, you know, continue to move forward. Yeah. You know, when you saw, you, know, you heard on Facebook, there's a lot of people that were really in denial for up until the, up until just recently. A lot of people were trying to say, this is a, this is a hoax. It's a conspiracy. Nobody's really dying. It's the government trying to control us and tell us what to do and, you know, or some other countries trying to destroy our economy. There was just so many crackpot theories going around. Hopefully you weren't on Facebook like I was and having to be exposed to all this. But, you know, I think we're at the point now where we all have to unite and understand that the only way we're going to turn this thing around and, and come out the other side stronger is if everybody has to cooperate. Everybody has to stay inside, wash their hands, uh, do this the self uh, self quarantining thing. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing that you, you might want to comment on, I, I've been thinking about this is, we've never had anything in our lifetimes like this that affected the entire world at the same time. Um, you know, probably the last thing that was on a level with this was like World War II, maybe, where every country and most countries had to deal with that in one way or another. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is uniting us in a way because, you know, we think. You're black, I'm white, you worship this, I worship that, you speak this language, I speak that language. And now I think we're coming to realize we're all one, we're all one people. No matter where you are in the world, what language, religion, none of that even matters anymore because this is something that can, you know, it, it's, it's killing people all over the world. It's making people all over the world in every single country sick. And, you know, unless we all get together, we, we are, the whole world is cooperating and that's the only way we're going to, we're going to survive this without millions and millions of deaths. Have you, yeah. have you thought about it in that aspect at all? Yeah, I mean, I have. I mean, you know, it. Um, one one thing that this certainly did is the world is united, and I say that because I mean, I'm I'm very up on what's happening and 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 out there globally. I mean, we're hmm. in the United States of America. We're um, even though you know we're hit number one right now with the most uh, cases ever, but also. We also uh, have manufacturers like Ford uh, Motor Company, these huge manufacturers and everything who have switched their uh, lines to, you know, producing uh, medical supplies, supplying uh, the hospitals with face masks um, and all the necessary things that they need to the protect themselves. Ventilators is amazing. Ventilators yeah. and, and every single thing, you know. So you have all of these manufacturers who were once making cars, you know, once making mattresses, you know, once making clothing, now they've switched their line production to what is necessary for uh, for our hospitals and for the medical industry. Not only in America, and we're now shipping things to uh, Italy, you know, and also Spain. So 
you know, and you see what Russia is doing. Russia is uh, helping out uh, other countries. So we've become united, and this is not a time uh, for uh, any political agendas. This is a time, and you see it, that, uh, you know, we're not talking about race or religion. That has been removed at this time and at this moment. So even though we're facing a huge, huge uh, pandemic globally, also what it has done is also is united, you know, uh, the world, you know, as one. Um, so I try to look at the positive side of it. I want all my fans to do the same thing. Uh, don't necessarily point the finger at what the government is doing and what you think about uh, these things that you're hearing about, you know, uh, uh, these certain organizations plotting something against humanity and society, trying to change the world this way or that way. Look at it this way. You know, we have people dying around the entire world. Yeah. Family members, you know, people on the front lines are police, police officers globally around the world. Hospitals globally around the world suffering. Now elderly are dying down to young kids are passing and dying away. So this is something that we need to focus on, something that we need to do our part um, and, um, you know, help help each other. Now, the only thing that I want to say to my bodybuilders, my family of IFBB professional bodybuilders and what I could do is is just stay uplifted, you know, stay positive, you know, go out, go out there and give a good word of encouragement to uh, to the ones out there who are struggling. We all are struggling, but I'm calling on my bodybuilding family right now because we are warriors. We can make it through anything to stand up, stay strong and be firm for your for your fellow brothers and sisters out there, man. So they're looking to us for leadership. Yeah. And um, I certainly want us to continue to do it. Keep a heads up and we'll we'll get through this. We'll get through it. We'll get past it. And we'll come out on the other side, united, stronger than ever. Yeah, that would have been a great place to end. But I, I got to backtrack because, you know, you were just talking about how these these corporations, these these factories, they're they're now switching over from whatever they were making before to making these things like ventilators, masks, things to save lives. The last time that we had U.S. factories switching over to, to, to do anything for the government, it was World War II, and they were making things like bombs and bullets and guns and tanks mm -hmm. to kill people. And now, you know, 60, 70 years later, whatever it is, they're actually switched over all their manufacturing plants and processes to saving lives, to, to helping people, to, to life instead of death. And I think that's that's important. That that's uh, that's a big thing. I don't. I, yeah. I haven't really heard anybody mention that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, that's that's what's going on. And you see the strength of the United States of America coming together. You see the um, the small businesses, the factories, the businesses and corporations that are family owned. You know, Procter and Gamble. You know, Ford, Chevrolet. You know, all of these huge, you know, companies that's been you know, uh, out since the 1800s, family oriented. These guys are stepping up to the front lines and doing what we need to do right here in America to supply the entire world with things that 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 we need globally. And, um, you know, it, this thing, uh, I think I think we're going to now we're we're getting out in front of it and we're going to be able to. Uh, and, and also, you know, we're coming up with test kits now. Yeah. Um, they've been able to 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 manufacture test kits. There's been one million uh, Americans that have already been tested, uh, these test kits can uh, give you results within five or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's just amazing when you think about the technology and, you know, we're not using it to manufacture weapons, you know, like you were saying, you know, Ron, we're using it to manufacture, you know, what's necessary to save lives and not only in America, but throughout the entire universe and the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're starting to do. So I think, I think, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to see a big change and we're going to be able to control this thing. I think the peak of it is coming, you know, within the next two weeks, we're going to hit that peak and then we're going to start coming down the other side of the mountain because we'll have control of it a little after Easter. So um, I'm looking forward to that and um, just, just, just looking forward to coming out of this thing. And we got to do what we got to do to protect our family, our neighbors and our loved ones and just continue to send a positive message around the world and hope and pray to God. Don't remember, you know, continue to pray you know, keep your faith. Um, don't get worried. Don't give up and don't quit. And if you feel like, you know, you can't continue to go on or, or the four walls are closing in, you know, guys, just reach out to someone out there on social media and say, hey, you know, can, um, can, can I talk to you? You know, hey, 
you know, so the, the world is global. I mean, the world is global, but you know, we can we can hit a button and say, hey, you know what? And don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, if you need someone to talk to, guys, you know what? Shoot me a message out there on a DM, you know, on Instagram. So don't don't be uh, feel like you have to suck it up and, and suffer and go through this alone. We're all in the same place. But uh, we can reach out and help each other and say, you know what, man, I'm thinking about you. How are you? And that doesn't cost a dime. Yeah. Last question, Kevin. This it seems like a horrible thing that, you know, it's, it's affecting <clears throat> the world in a, in a terrible negative way. But I, I know that eventually things are going to get better, obviously. And I think I think we can actually learn a lot and come out stronger and better. How do you think we can all be the world can be a better place as a result of this? You know, what do you think we can learn from this whole experience as, as a people, as a, as a human race. I think, I think, I think one thing that we are learning right now is that we have to stay united. You know, we, we, everyone is doing what they need to do in each and every one of each and every country in the entire world. They're staying inside, you know, they're following the orders, you know, we're staying united. We're doing what we need to do. And then also love, love, love heals all, you know, um, Love, and that's what it's all about, you know. The unnecessary fighting has been removed. The unnecessary hatred has been removed. And now is the time that the whole world has come together globally. And all I can say is just continue to pray, um, you know, have faith in God, have faith within yourself, and know that you can make a contribution to change your life. And you can make a contribution in being part of helping a family or a loved one or someone out there make it through this hard time. So I want to challenge you guys to do that. Keep your head up and uh, continue to move forward. Cool. Well, I knew I'd feel better after talking to you, Kevin. I usually do, but especially today, <laughs> I, I do feel better, a little, a little lifted in the spirit. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, uh, thank you, Ron. Thanks for taking the time, Kevin. I always love getting your perspective because I knew you'd have a positive, a positive light on this situation, and you definitely did. So you helped everyone. Everyone that watched this is going to feel a little bit better about that. Well, about you know, that. man, I always say, you know, the bad times don't last forever. As long as you never quit, never give up, you'll never lose no matter how long it takes. But this time, we're all in it together. So we're united as one moving forward, you know, and that's what it's going to take to get over this. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for watching How I See It with this man, Kevin Leveroni. Appreciate it, Kevin. And we'll see Thank you next you, Ron. time. Thank you, Ron. Everybody, stay safe. Keep the faith. We'll see you next time. We're going to do this thing or no? no? <laughs> God bless you guys, man. Right. Boom. Out of here, baby. Thanks, man.